self-control. Some of you don't have control over your life. You are influenced. You have lost control over your mind. God wants you to have control over the decisions you make. Not to be easily manipulated like a puppet. Yeah. You're like a groupie. God is saying, don't be a kind of person who moves with a group. Move with the will that God has put in you. Yeah. Some of you... Abdul Karim. Abdul Karim. Abdul brother in, uh, in Islam. I break every spirit of witchcraft in the mighty name of Jesus. What does Yakubian? Do you know anyone? Pastor's last name is Yakubian. Yakubian. Uh, your brother must commit suicide. Yes. Your brother? Yes. Wants to commit suicide. Suicide. Yes. This is God. This is not man's work. I might not look like a pastor because I'm not a pastor. Praise God. I am a prophet. Hallelujah. Today we are going to pray more than do anything. Say Jesus. Jesus. Number two is some people have control over you. Some folks have control over you. Now this goes beyond family. Galatians 5, 22 to 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, love. Joy, joy, peace, peace. long-suffering, long kindness, kindness, goodness, goodness. Faithfulness, faithfulness, gentleness, gentleness. self-control. Self and against such, there is no law. Self-control. Some of you don't have control over your life. You are influenced. You have lost control over your mind. God wants you to have control over the decisions you make. Not to be easily manipulated like a puppet. Amen. You're like a groupie. God is saying don't be a kind of person who moves with a group. Move with the will that God has put in you. Some of you move because your family has a tradition of doing certain things. So you take your tradition in the marketplace, in the, in the world. So you're moving according to the pattern of how your family does things. Don't move according to how people who you know, have grown with you move. Move according to how you're supposed to move. For yeah. God needs you. Yeah. He doesn't need the identity of your brother to be in you. He wants you. Yeah. He doesn't need the identity of your father to be yeah. in you. He wants you. If your father said you won't succeed, yeah. let him say you won't succeed. You will succeed. If your mother said it won't work out, let her keep saying it won't work out, but it will work out in Amen. Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter what she says. Some of you are affected with words so much that you've lost control. You don't have self-control. You need your identity. It is of necessity you have your full identity. Tell your neighbor, full identity. Full identity. I need I mean, my full, my full identity. identity now, now this, hour, this hour this moment this so take a moment and ask yourself from all this year from January to December who has control over you emotionally psychologically who's controlling you Some folks get in a relationship, their relationship is based on control. So this relationship of yours, is it prison or is it love? You're in a relationship with a man, you're in a relationship with a woman. Is she controlling you or is he controlling you? The question is, is it good for it to be like that? Is it right for you not to have your own will? So your security is in someone, yet you want God to secure your future. come on now. That's good. Say it now. So where have you put your security? That's the question I have for you. You're saying things are delaying in your life, yet someone is literally dominating your mind like this. Control is witchcraft. Dominating your mind, the choices you make, the decisions you make, it's not a matter of coming into agreement, it's a matter of control. Many relationships end up being toxic because control is involved. Some of you are coming from controlling families. You are born 
where your mother, all her life she knew to be powerful is to control. And control is not necessarily me saying, hey, come here by force. I don't need to be forceful to control. Amen. I just need to influence your thoughts. Speak, Lord. No, think like this. I need to think on behalf of you. And some of you here, you got somebody thinking on behalf of you. You're very gifted. The reason why you're not manifesting, yet you're gifted, is because someone is thinking on behalf of you. <laughs> Where is your will? That's the question I have for you. This message is very sensitive. It's not a message anybody can like. Rebuke makes you grow. Where is your will? Oh, my father said, my mother said, in our family we do this. Are you your family or are you you? Amen. Some of you even to date in a different culture is a problem. Because your family won't be happy. Yeah, yeah. Not knowing purpose has nothing to do <laughs> with who you are. With. Purpose begins with you. You have to find yourself. Some of you are lost in a couple of people around you who are familiar to you. Yeah. And now, the moment you attempt to have a will, that's when you realize, like, wow, enemies begin to rise. Yeah, yeah. Some of you have lost some folks in your life, yeah. not because <laughs> that you, you became boring, you became uh, yeah. nagging. No. It's because you chose to have a will. Come on now. Yeah. Some of you, the fights you are having in your family is because you chose to have a will. Amen. Some of you are having uh, breakups. You know, you went through a breakup from a toxic relationship is because that toxic relationship, someone could no longer have control of you. Amen. So now don't think the problem is you. The problem ain't you. The problem is uh, you just decided to see. Yes. And uh, it's like your eyes were open with God unconsciously. And you're like, wait a minute, this, this is not right. So you walked away. Come on now. Yeah, yeah. So you thought they left you because you're useless. No. They left you because they were jealous of you. Some folks are very jealous at a point whereby they can stop everything. You can have someone in your life like a principality who's always wanting to know what you're up to. Hey, oh, so what you're up to? They just want to know what you're up to and anything you try does not work. Why? Because you are having, uh, people call it bad energy in the world. You're having somebody with bad vibes. You know, man is a spirit having an earthly experience, and you get to know if man is a spirit, uh, there are men who carry spirits that are not of God, and there's uh, a, 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 another one who could be a believer who carries angels and, uh, and, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So there are people who don't carry the spirit of God, they, they carry the spirit of jealousy. Uh -huh. yeah. Where there's jealousy, there is death. Amen. Cain and Abel, the first. <laughs> the first death to ever be recorded in the Bible it was between two brothers. Yep. Two brothers. The older brother is jealous of the younger brother. Some of you don't believe in jealousy until you see the effects of jealousy. Oh, yeah, <sighs> oh, yeah. How many times do you hear in uh, murder cases, murder stories, uh, where someone was jealous of someone and they poisoned them? Yeah. It's real. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If someone won't poison you physically, <laughs> yeah, on, yeah. they will poison your reputation. Come on now. Yeah, yeah. Speak yeah. And you keep walking, keep, keep pulling them and going with them everywhere you want to go. You, you, with your contacts, you just want to connect them. You know, you, you keep walking with them. The problem is your company. Until you discern who you are around, Have your way, it's very difficult for you to know where you're supposed to be. Yeah. You've got to discern your surrounding. Amen. Some of you just walk freelancer. You're just a freelancer. You just want to be cool with everybody. I'm positive. I'm positive. I don't want to be negative. I want to be positive. Well, I got news for you. The world is built on negativity. Most folks you see buy into negativity. That's why in social media, when a scandal comes out, there's a lot of views. Am I talking to somebody? Yes. Oh, yeah. Lord. When a scandal comes out, there's how many views? A lot of views. But when something good comes, who watches? Mm -hmm. Nobody. So you got to be very careful. Oh, yeah. Jealousy. Jealousy. Absalom, my son, you want to kill me. David begins to cry. His own son wants to murder his father. Yeah. Because he wants to take the throne. He wants to be the king. Mm. 
Some of you have so-called girlfriends. I don't know who I'm prophesying to. You think she's a friend. But she's not a girlfriend. She's not a friend. She's just waiting for the right opportunity to strike you down. <laughs> she's not a girlfriend. She's a hidden enemy. Yeah. Let your reputation be restored in Jesus' name. Because some of you are dealing with a bad reputation. There's a spirit of a bad reputation. Everywhere you go, people are accusing you. It's a spirit of accusation. That's why you try to connect with people, but there are people you haven't disconnected yourself from. It goes like a spiral. They go, they say, you heard this? It keeps going back and forth. Say, Jesus. Jesus. Can I give a testimony? Yes. Yeah. In Africa, there's a woman who got married. I like giving this testimony. To this guy who was American and... <laughs> And this lady had her past where she had uh, done a little bit of like abortion, like six abortions with a guy she was with in Africa, but the guy ended up leaving her. So she got in a new relationship with this American man. And this American guy flew to Africa and they did their marriage traditional. They ended up flying to America and living together. And so the younger sister was with the mother but the mother was envious of the daughter because she wanted the, something to happen to the younger sister, something good. So there was partiality, there was a favorism between them two. Them two, there's favorism. The mother loves the younger sister. The mother, this is a mother, a mother, a mother. So, the mother calls the older sister and says, hey, how are you? The older sister says, fine. How is life? Good. Ah, your younger sister, you have to help her. Get her to where you are. She misses you. She needs to be with you. Get her close to you, you know? Her career will take off when she comes where you are in the States. The older sister says, mom, you know, I'm freshly married. The your mother insists. Then she's like, you know what? I love my sister. Family is family. So, talk to the husband. The husband said, I don't really know. But she convinced the husband that the younger sister is supposed to be in the United States because they were close. Say conspiracy. Conspiracy. Say conspiracy. conspiracy. Okay. So the younger sister flew paperwork, it worked out. As soon as she arrived, the older sister began working, you know, going to work, coming late. The younger sister took advantage. One day caught the husband off guard. And you know what's next. So as months kept going, the belly of the younger sister started showing, started pulling one way. The older sister came and started poking and joking, saying, hey, what's going on? You're pulling a little bit away. She rolled her eyes. Only for her to put the husband on spot and say, your man is responsible of this. The older sister is like, come on, what's wrong with you? You're joking, responsible of what? I'm pregnant. The younger sister is pregnant with the older sister's husband. So she's shocked. She's like, what? Waits for the husband. How could you do this? Breaks down and begin crying. Out of everybody. Do it outside. Not my sister. She cries. Calls the mother in Africa. Mama, can you imagine what happened? Then mama says, well, you know, you couldn't con con conceive, you know, leave the marriage for your younger sister. Go somewhere else. Leave it for your younger sister. She said, what? All this time, it was a conspiracy. When I talk about enemies in the family, people think, ah, no, this is just a negative talk. It's a reality. Isa was after the life of Jacob. The older sister took over the marriage. The younger sister had to be forced to leave. 
Because because of the multiple abortions she's had, she had a struggle to conceive. The younger sister took over the home. What am I saying? We have to be very careful. Any plan you have, whatsoever you have that consists of a, 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 you know, a business, whatever it is you want to do with your life, career, calling, sometimes it's good to talk to God. Between you and God. Keep it on fire between you and God. Because sometimes what is familiar to you will not take it serious. Will not take your decision serious. Say, Jesus, Jesus, I am blessed. I am blessed. Let the Lord deliver you Amen. today. Let Jesus set you free today. Amen. These things happen every day. Suicide, like I said earlier, it doesn't belong, it doesn't begin with a, a woman just because she got heartbroken, the guy broke my heart, now I'm committing suicide. No. No. He began in the house. That girl didn't have never been valued in her home. That man was not valued. So he goes to find value somewhere else. Then he gets devalued. She gets devalued. Suicide takes place. Say Jesus. Jesus. I love you. I love you. Today. Today. You're amazing. You're amazing. In my life. In my life. Number three, breaking from mental abuse. Breaking from mental abuse. Let the Lord deliver you from mental abuse. Uh, Judges 16, 15 to 17. Breaking free from mental abuse. Judges 16, 15 to 17. And you know, it's the story of Samson. Samson had seven locks and Delilah had come to Samson and she wanted to do what she wanted to do. She tried her best to subdue Samson. Tell me your secret. If you tie me with fresh ropes, I won't be powerful. Then she drove him crazy at a point whereby he went through a breaking point and uh, he revealed a secret which was, if you shave my hair with razors, I will lose my power. Some people want to get into your mind to know the secret of who you are, the grace you carry. The spirit of Delilah is real. It's a false spirit. Today you came because I had prayed prior this day and God, God told me there's a prophetic word I want you to release to somebody because they are going through deep issues. Deep issues. You need to release a prophetic word through your teaching. Uh,